Oh, hi. <laughs> well, I, uh, I wondered if you felt like a spot of brunch later. On me, of course. No, you're all right. Well, it's just that I'm trying to understand. I mean, so much was said yesterday. Intervention with a company and buffet at this time, is it? I can't help it that I care about you. We all do. But if you don't want to talk about it, I recognize that has to be respected. Thanks. Oh, can I not tempt you? Not even to one of Roy's bacon barns? No, I've, uh, I'm going to go to a meeting this morning. Oh, that's good. I don't know. That's great. Well, yeah, we'll see. Well, I, I mean, I could come with you, you know, like before. Thanks. No I, I, I want to do this whole recovery thing on my own, you know. A bit of responsibility for once in my life. I can't tell you how glad I am to hear you say that. Well, I better. Uh, I don't want to be late. Yeah, no, no, of course. No, no, you go, you go. Pizza! Pizza! It's taking all my mind not to lose my temper with you right now. So I seriously suggest you do one. Look, I get you're angry, but how can I not tell Granda? It's very simple. You see this? You keep it shut. But you expect me to stand by and watch you destroy yourself? All right, I see what's happening here. The caring Adam's rocked up. Well, it's my life, and I get to end it on my own terms. Now, you leave me alone. Adam. Adam! What are you going to do? Just pretend that I don't exist anymore? Is that it? Worth a try. Yeah, well... Believe me, the feeling's entirely mutual, so... Well, there you go, then. No, I want to know how Peter is. Give him a call. Oh, like it's that easy. What do you expect me to say? Well, is he OK? <sighs> Come on, Carla, you're smarter than that. No, don't patronise me. Of course he's not OK. Right, well, what's going on, then? I don't think this is appropriate, I'm sorry. Well, like I give a damn whether it's appropriate or not. It's a family matter. Oh, well, from what you're saying, the family don't seem to be doing him much good, do they? Thanks, but we don't need you, OK? Does he need me? Adam? Does Peter need me? Come on, for once in your life, just put somebody else before yourself. It's not about that, all right? It's so far removed from that. Well, what is? <sighs> Please, Adam. He's asked me to drop a document. What kind of document? A refusal of treatment. The transplant? He says if he needs it, he's not having it. He's point blank refusing everything. No one can get through to him. He says he's done. Carla, wait a minute, will you? Why? What's this season two? Oh, come on, as if. I need to speak to Peter. What's happened? Let's go for that lunch. No, just tell me. Peter's asked me to write something. That means he doesn't have to take any further treatment. Wow. Yeah, and I told my granddad. Okay. Well, I had to, right? I mean, I'm literally writing him a death sentence. Oh, yeah. Peter's furious, and now I've only gone and told her too. Well, why would you do that? I don't know. I don't know what to do, Sarah. I feel like if I tell someone I hurt him, if I don't tell someone I hurt him, he's completely and utterly given up. It's because of me, isn't it? It's me that's done that to him. What are you doing here? Oh, nice what to do you, see what you. What do you want? I've heard you, you're not in a great place. Oh, really? oh, okay. So, and you thought you'd come round and rescue Peter, me? I just did wanted you? to say Stop. that. Stop. I'm not interested. You've been talking to Adam, haven't you? Peter. Tell him that bloke keep his gob shut. I just want to say that if it comes to it, you have to have that transplant if no, no, you stop. need it. No, no, you don't get to tell me what to do. Well, I'm trying to help you. I'm not going to just stand here and let you throw your life away don't like need this, your am I? Help. Is this not the bit where you tell me how selfish I'm being? Well, like, do you know what? I've been selfish all my life. And maybe, Carla, just maybe, me not being on this transplant list might be the least selfish thing that I ever do. Well, so you don't think you deserve to live? What? Come here. Why? No. Can I smell booze? Have you been drinking? 
Are you drunk? No. Where is it? Carla, just stop. Where is it? Please. No, I won't. I don't believe it. Do you know what? I've been sneaking around hiding this all day. Well, I'm sick and tired of hiding. Oh. There. OK, now have you got what you want? Hey, now do you understand? Peter, don't! Oh, Peter. You know what that means, don't you? It means you could literally drop down dead at any second. That's right. Cheers. You say it like I have a choice. You have. No, I don't have a choice. Peter, you've stopped drinking before. It's all I can think about. Look, you, you stopped drinking for years on end and it's all you can think about. All that time I was dry. Every second, from waking up to going to bed, from drinking orange juice, eating, watching television, it was all just a distraction. All a distraction from this, from really? what I really wanted. So, all that time that you were with me, well, I was just a distraction, was I? Yes, you were a distraction. I don't believe you. Fine. Peter, you are literally killing yourself. Yep. Can't you just think of your family? I am thinking about my family. Simon's worried sick about both his parents and me dad is an old man. He shouldn't have to be put through this. Yes? 